My name is Noah. I live with my wife Lisa, who is a great cook and kind, and our daughter Madison, who is always full of energy and has a cute smile. Our home is always bustling with me and Madison playing around, but watching us, my wife Lisa always smiles warmly, filling our home with happiness. All right, it's almost dinner time, so let's start cleaning up. Okay, Daddy, you clean up over there, and there, and that, and that way too. That's everything, haha. -ha. You two sure know how to make a mess. It's so much fun playing with daddy. Things just get messy. It's all in good fun. Oh, I'll help you as soon as I'm done. We were living such happy days. Then, one day, as I was walking through town, I had a nostalgic encounter. It was. Hey, isn't that Noah? Oh, Marvin. It's been a while, hasn't it? What are you doing wandering around here? I'm on my way to do some shopping. You're still as absent-minded as ever, Noah. I can't believe Lisa married a guy like you. What do you mean? Man, I'm an elite banker, you know. If she had accepted my proposal, she could have been living the good life by now. I don't know about that, but Marvin, being an elite banker is amazing, isn't it? Of course. Tell Lisa about me, will you? Here, take my business card. Sure, sure. I studied hard to get where I am, not like you. You really are amazing. Yeah, I am. Anyway, I'm busy, so I've got to go. All right. See you around. That was Marvin, my classmate from high school. Bankers are impressive. I thought naively and honestly. After finishing shopping and returning home. Daddy, welcome home. I'm home. Oh, Mom, you're here. You should have called. Madison is going to play with Grandma now. Yay. Yeah, let's see what we're going to play with. Welcome back, Noah. I'm home. Oh, I ran into Marvin on the way to the store. He gave me his business card to give to you. Marvin? Isn't he the one who kept pursuing me after I turned him down? Just looking at this business card. Ugh. Just throw it away. Really? Was it like that? I'll tear it up and throw it away. By the way, I also finished the errand you asked me to do. Thank you. My mother-in-law is here, and my father-in-law will come later. I'll make lots of delicious food today. My parents live nearby and often come to visit. Lisa gets along very well with them. Sometimes she and my mom go shopping together happily. After a while, my dad also came over, and that day we had a fun time around the dinner table. Madison is very fond of my parents, and they adore her too. After my parents went home, Madison suggested we celebrate my mom's birthday, and we decided to go to a fancy sushi restaurant. On my mom's birthday... Grandma, happy birthday. Thank you, Madison. Grandma is very happy. She really does look happy. The birthday celebration for my mom started in a warm and pleasant atmosphere. Then Marvin and a woman named Tasha, who was with him, appeared. Hey, Noah and Lisa, what are you guys doing here? Marvin, you don't have to come at such a time. I'm glad you remember me. Oh, did you get my business card from Noah? I threw it away. Contrary to what one might expect from Lisa's blunt words. Marvin responded. Throwing away my business card means you regret rejecting me, huh? Well, I'm an elite banker, with a bright future, working at KST Bank. This woman has no eye for men. Well, thanks to that. I got to marry Marvin, so I guess it's all good. Ah, uh, this person is. Ah, uh, this person is. Who is he? Ah, uh, he's not someone to worry about. Noah, coming to a fancy sushi place and just drinking tea? Isn't that ridiculous? If you're not ordering anything, you should just leave. Ah, uh, we're about to order, you know? Marvin, I'm sorry, but can you leave if you don't have any business here? Shut up. A poor man like you can't tell an elite banker like me what to do. Just quietly leave because I told you to. Oh, if you don't know the way back, I can show you, you know? Our special day, my mother's birthday, was spoiled by Marvin and Tasha's intrusion. Lisa, usually mild-mannered and rarely angry, spoke up. Can you please not disturb this important day? And apologize to Noah. Ha! Huh. Apologize? No way. Don't joke around. It's my mother-in-law's birthday celebration. Can't you see we're a family here? How dare you barge in like this? I don't need an apology. Eh? Mother-in-law. Thank you, Lisa. I already told that man off, so don't worry about it. You, I won't accept your apology. You were disrespectful to everyone who made an effort for today. Ha! Huh. Seriously, I don't get what's so special about today. 
They probably consulted their wallets to splurge on expensive sushi, right? Don't come to fancy places if you have to worry about the price. Just go home and eat some thick omelet or something. Ha ha ha. Could you please be quiet? You're being a nuisance. And you said you're from KSD Bank, right? Yeah, so? I've decided to move all my 20 billion yen to another bank. 20 billion? Don't be stupid, Tasha. That's obviously a lie. Don't take it seriously. Right. The amount is just too big. I almost believed it for a moment. I'm sorry, owner. We've caused a disturbance, so we'll go to another place. We'll come back another day. No problem at all. Please do come back again. Our family moved to another sushi restaurant nearby, but it was fully booked that day. So, we ended up having a light meal at a restaurant and returned home. My mother was quiet, but I felt I had seen the greatest fury ever in her. And I was also wondering, what's this about 20 billion yen? The next day, my mom asked me to accompany her to KST Bank. Hello. I'd like to transfer all my 20 billion yen deposited here to another bank. Could you please start the process right away? 20 billion yen, is that correct? Yes, that's right. Could you hurry with the procedure? What's up, Noah? You came with your mom, huh? Um, this customer wants to transfer 20 billion yen to another bank? Ah, it's fine, it's fine. Just ignore her, she's delusional. Welcome, dear customer, today we... Oh, it's you. Branch manager? Why are you bowing? Mother, hello, Clark, the branch manager. I've decided to move my 20 billion yen to another bank. What, really? Hey, the branch manager's reaction, could it be? Wait, our bank currently has a quite good deposit interest rate. So moving it now is, actually, may I ask the reason for the transfer if it's all right? We ran into Marvin here by chance yesterday. Here's the video. My cutest daughter in the world happened to record it on her smartphone. Let me see that phone for a moment. Oh, this is. What's wrong, branch manager? Marvin, how could you be so disrespectful? What? Me? This is terrible. I apologize for our employees' misconduct. Marvin, this is a good opportunity for you to transfer to that branch. You know, the one in the remote area. The branch in that secluded place? Exactly. We will deal with this employee, so please reconsider moving your deposit. The branch manager was desperately trying to change my mother's mind. Meanwhile, Marvin, who was told he would be dealt with, was frantically arguing. Branch manager, are you abandoning me, an elite? What elite? You can't even do your job properly. After causing such a big problem, this won't just end with a warning. Hey, I'm from the major client, Dame Corporation. You're keeping me waiting while you causally make a fuss? Oh, you're an employee of Dame Corp. Let me just make a quick call. Hello? After calmly speaking, my mother made a phone call. Soon after the call ended. You, you've just lost your job. What? What are you talking about, old lady? You can't possibly do something like that. Oh, a call from my company. Just wait a minute. Hello? Director? What? No, that can't be true. Wait, director. The line got cut off. Mom, what did you do? I just called the president of Dame Corp and explained the situation. You see, I'm a major shareholder there, so I know the president. Ugh. I don't believe such a story. It's probably just some old lady's lie. It doesn't seem like a lie, Tasha. I'm also in a bad situation. You do really think highly of yourselves, don't you? It's commendable to work for a big corporation, but so what? Ugh. Working for a major corporation means I'm on the path to being an elite, a winner, right? Oh, really? Then what about someone like me who's wealthy? My husband's retired and unemployed, but I have more assets, right? So, by your logic, doesn't that make me more impressive than you? You might have gotten lucky with your wealth, but Tasha and I work for major corporations, earn good salaries, and pay taxes. Doesn't that make us just as impressive as you? Paying taxes is a citizen's duty. It doesn't make you special. You. Look at the lowlife talking. My mother responded to Pasha who was speaking out of turn. Well, if that's how you're going to speak, then from my perspective, you're the one at the bottom. What? What are you talking about? You two seem to have a habit of looking down on and belittling others, but it seems you're not used to being treated that way yourselves. I'm an elite, so I don't get belittled. Not in a lifetime. Then why are you getting trashed by my mom? I'm not getting trashed. 
But aren't you about to be transferred to that remote place? Personnel decisions aren't made that easily. It's different when a big problem is caused. After all, you're about to cause a huge loss for KST Bank. Do you really think the company will keep you on board? The branch manager seems kind. If it were me, I'd have fired you already. Hey, what about me? I work for a major client of this bank. I just came here on an errand for the bank. Why am I getting fired too? Because you were extremely rude to a major shareholder, right? Oh, right. No, that's not it. Why am I getting fired then? Hey, old lady, don't get too cocky or you'll regret it. My, what polite language. It shows just how well Clark, the branch manager, has trained his staff. Yikes, I'm so sorry. Marvin, enough already. Why? It's all just delusions about 20 billion yen, just ignore it. Don't be foolish. Everything this lady says is true. Eh? So, the 20 billion is actually... That's what I've been saying. It's all true. Seeing the branch manager Clark's panic behavior, Marvin and Tasha finally seem to understand the situation. If it's not a delusion, then just say so. You're the one who said it was a delusion, Marvin. I'm also quite surprised by what's happening right now. But what's happening right in front of us is the undeniable truth. That's why the branch manager is desperately trying to convince us. You really have a low ability to understand things. Who would believe such a 20 billion yen story immediately? You were the one denying it before. What are you talking about now? Branch manager Clark remembered my face well. But you didn't. You don't remember the faces of your major clients. The people in the back and next to them recognized who I was and bowed when our eyes met. Ah, so that's what was going on. I thought there was some important person behind us. Then old lady, keep the 20 billion in our bank so I don't get transferred and Tasha doesn't get fired. Exactly. Just call your president now and say it was all a joke or something. Are you guys okay in the head? Tasha and I are both sane and elite with high education, so we're fine. Maybe I should just call the president of the bank now. The president? You know the top of KST Bank too? Mom, you're joking too much. The branch manager just fainted. It's okay. I will continue to trust branch manager Clark with the 20 billion yen. Ah, huh? I think I just blacked out for a moment. See, he's fine. Mom, who are you? Hey, stop joking around. I get that the 20 billion is real, but as a person, I'm still superior. Enough, Marvin, you're fired. Clear out your desk and leave now. Having finally been told he was fired by branch manager Clark, Marvin responded. If I leave this bank, the operations will fall apart. Clients will decrease and this branch might even collapse. Are you okay with that? This branch won't collapse just because someone like you leaves. Marvin, you can't do your job properly, right? It's safer for everyone if you're not here. Wait a minute. If I'm getting fired, it's a problem if Marvin gets fired too. Right. An elite like me can't be unemployed. That's a joke. Don't worry. Neither KST Bank nor Dame Corporation will be troubled at all. Huh. You think this branch can prepare 20 billion in cash just like that? Cash? There's no need for cash. It's just a transfer to another account. Nobody walks around with that much cash. Are you and that woman really elites? Yes, we are. We're an elite couple. That ends now. Work together as a couple and do your best. And branch manager Clark, I really like your name. You handled the situation well, so I'll leave the rest to your judgment. Really? But if anything like this happens again, I'll immediately ask for a transfer. Thank you. I will reinforce employee training. Please ensure that other clients can trust you with their valuable assets. Wait! Please, anything but firing me! Cancel mine too! As I said, nobody will be troubled by your absence. Let's go, Noah. Sure. Hi, Marvin. Good luck starting over with your wife. Wait! Enough! Pack up your things and leave now! Thus, Marvin and his wife Tasha were fired. Unable to accept their fall from grace to rock bottom, they plotted revenge. However, they were involved in an accident during their scheme and ended up hospitalized. When the police inquired about the accident, everything was exposed and the couple was arrested. Later on, my mother told us that her wealth came from investments she and my father made for Madison's future. She boasted about her genius talent for investing with a proud smile. Our family life continued. Wow, such a big cake. What's this for? Brand, I brought it as a treat because something nice happened. 
Your grandma insisted it was for Madison. Thank you, mother-in-law and father-in-law, for always doing so much for Madison. Look, Madison, isn't it amazing? Yeah, I lead it carefully. That's way too big even for us. Even after discovering that my parents had an unexpected fortune of 20 billion yen, nothing changed in our home. My parents continued to dote on Madison as always. The more I told them not to spoil her, the more they did, so I stopped saying it. Lisa didn't seem to grasp the magnitude of 20 billion yen, and her attitude remained unchanged. Realizing my parents were working hard for Madison's future, I felt more motivated to work even harder to make my family happy. Despite this unexpected revelation, I decided not to rely on it and to continue protecting my family's happiness with my own efforts. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more great content. Just click on the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. See you in the next one.